Hi everyone, let's talk about Bloomtown, which is just an absolutely fantastic filler game. It's, you know, it's simple to get to grips with. It offers you a, kind of a different choice as well in that, you know, you are wide open in where you can place in your grid, but you are then restricted by what you can take for the future. So it is, it's a balancing act between wanting to place things in an optimal position to try and score the most points, but also placing them in a position where you're going to get something useful next round. You know, it's no point uh, getting a, a couple of extra points if you're going to get something completely useless that you can't put anywhere or is going to score you no points, but maybe you really want that thing to deny uh, someone else something that's going to score them a load of points, or you're worried that the scoring is going to come up. The community tells are a really nice touch as well that you can never be quite sure when things are going to score, or if your thing is going to score at all this game. And, you know, you always want it to kind of leave it as late as possible to score so you can get the most for your stuff, especially for, you know, shops and houses, is it, that score properly towards the end of the game, that score their normal way again. Everything else scores two points a tile, which is very good in itself. But yeah, you want to do all of your optimal positioning because, you know, if that happens early, then shops and houses and things not quite as attractive, still good for when you place them. But yeah, there the can be huge point things, but maybe you have done really well early. So you want to try and force that thing to be scored early because you know everyone has that potential. Everyone has that special tile that it's always tempting to you know, double up on your points if you've done particularly well with a placement or take another turn, you know, when when do you not want a, a, a free turn? Uh, but yeah, if you can trigger one of those scorings at the right time, because you know, you want to do it before the game ends, as I learned to my cost, but uh, yeah, you, you want to try and leave it as late as possible so you'll get the most points for it. Or maybe you're in a real, a really great position to, you know, you've done a ton of subways you can score loads of points of them and if you force the scoring to happen now then they're going to be much less attractive for the future and you've got your points while the while the going was good you know it it just works beautifully well it's, it's as i mentioned it's 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 easy to get to grips with it's it's more simple than say uh, the, the the other you know city building games that you know things score in a lot of different ways like quadropolis is a bigger game uh but um you know maybe between two cities uh, is uh, is a uh, is probably between the two <laughs> of uh, filler and uh, and uh, bigger game, but uh, yeah, between two cities, it's got more types of things. They score in much more different ways. So while it's it's not a, a huge overhead once you've got to grips with it, there is more of a hurdle there. I feel I think it's easier to just have these five types. They it it just seems a little more intuitive to get to grips with. Uh, if you are playing with, especially if you're playing with people that are, are newer to games, it's it's less upfront to uh, to take on board. And then once you've got it, the game just flies. It's so quick because you know you don't you don't even have to use all of the tiles. You don't even know if all of the things are scoring. The game is over at, at two players anyway. The game is over in about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, it's it, it's so so quick, and you know in in the best possible way leaves you wanting more. It always makes you think, oh, one more turn, one more turn. The next turn was going to reveal this scoring thing. One more turn, and I was going to place this thing down. And that is always what you want from it, really. You, yeah, always leave them wanting more. So, yeah, I think that as a, as, as a filler game, and yeah, that's, I see people seeing that as a, as a bad thing. I just see it as a description of how long the game takes to play. <laughs> there's, uh, there's amazing filler games. And this is one of them. It's, it uh, works beautifully well at what it does, I think. Yeah, excels at what it sets out to do. But there's much more to say about it than that. The playthrough is probably as long as I've been speaking now. Uh, so yeah, go and watch that if you're still intrigued as to what the game is. Really, really enjoyed it. Bloom Town. Bye, everyone.